see what happens. Clarenzo, uh, thank you for the follow. Awesome. Okay, so you start the game as usual. By the way, if you have never played SWAS 2020 before, there's lots of things to check out. Um, just click yourself through it after you've downloaded it. There's a button for a DLC down here. Um, you can customize the game as you wish. So there's lots of lots of stuff in there. Well, uh, let's just jump in. There's a, no, a new follower. Thank you very much. Um, okay, game starts. <laughs> Fede, thank you for the follow. So you see, we have a button here that says multiplayer. And when you hit this button, you can actually log in with your uh, sensiblesocket.de account. So, or if you need to register, here's a short click uh, or shortcut to get the registration link. I can also drop it down in, in the chat here. Registration. There you go. It should, oh wait, register. I think it's register. There you go. Okay. So you need to have an account on sensiblesocket.de in order to play this. So you type in your credentials and then you click login. Checking the version, downloading a few things to make it, uh, to bring it up to the latest task. And then you see this screen here, matchmaking. On the right side over here, it tells you the users that are connected. For now, it's just two. Uh, and this is the, the thing that I'm anxious about later when we release it to the public. If it says like, I don't know, 50 here, if everything still works smoothly, we don't know. We hope. Okay, and then one of you guys, if you want to play, should open a game. In this case, Gatifan, how about you open a game? So Gatifan clicks okay. on, on open, and there you see, there it is. And it's super easy for me to just click and join this game. I requested it, and then he can let me in, or he can deny me if he doesn't like me. Gatifan, do you like me? <laughs> okay, it, it crashed. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm creating a game. Oh, okay, wait. There we go. Okay, he accepted me, and... There you also see what he's doing right now in the lobby. Gatifan is selecting a lineup and tactic. He's playing with his team, so I do not want to play with Bermuda against him, otherwise I'm going to get hammered, so I'm going to pick... Uh, my own custom team. Of course, you can always play with, like, original club teams, national teams, original custom teams and whatnot so everything is possible here um <laughs> x -Flee says he doesn't like you <laughs> probably not hey michael what's up nice to see you um i'm gonna choose my team here proceed and then you get instantly thrown into your team setup you can choose your setup you can choose your uh standard tactics or there's one spot for Taktichku. Yes, Taktichku. <laughs> Even though if you don't like it, uh, some of you, it's still there. Some like it, some don't like it. So it's an option to use. Um, and it's nice because... So people don't get overwhelmed. There's only one spot for a custom tactic at a time. You can always change, but you can't like uh, change it around. Oh, update from my wife upstairs. She's currently listening to Winter Wonderland. <laughs> nice to see that by the way okay so i just play like this and then here click confirm okay you could also check the uniforms uh-huh this seems fine in case you notice your shirts are too similar you can change them right here you can only change your own shirts by the way not the one of your opponent so i click confirm mouse control is not available for multiplayer game no so you have to push joystick button because you don't you don't want to play the game with a mouse. Jose is 69, thank you for the follow. Um Rui Costa, that was a good one. Winter Wonderland was not good for Neuer. Yeah, and then one more thing, guys. So you see the latency up here. This latency will give you an automatic setting of frame delay. Mostly this auto setting works works really, really well. If you think the game works super smooth, then you could decide to put it like down one notch to make it a little more responsive and see if the game still runs fine. 
mostly from experiences with uh, that I had with Jesus, with Gatifun, and with the others from California to Europe. I mostly chose four as a frame delay, but you can just leave this on on auto if you don't want to bother with it. Okay, and as you see, the start button for me is grayed out because I'm not the host. Gatifun opened the session, opened the lobby, so he is in command of uh, starting the match. So when yeah. I give him my, my check mark here, I confirm my team, he has the two check marks there, then he will be able to click start after this match, Gatifun. Maybe I can open the lobby and you join so I can showcase this as well. And then all he has to do is click start. Go ahead, Gatifun, let's play. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And by the way, there is no port forwarding involved, nothing. It should work straight out of the box. We have nice pitches with uh, for official multiplayer matches. And uh, you have a the tap button to chat. So you in-game in you can say, have fun, let's go. And with the tap button, again, you can hide the chat. Okay, tap button activates the chat, tap button again, disables it. Okay, and you would always get a notification if your opponent chat makes uh, sends you a text message, the chat will pop up for you to see. Okay. Good. Let's go. Let's get ready. Have fun, mate. Have fun. And you can already see this is smooth as butter. And this is California against Spain. Agama says go Morocco. <laughs> I agree. Go Morocco. That's, that should be nice. Ooh, nice really? 